In this video, we're going to learn how to make selections using two tools, the paintbrush tool and the pen tool. Here I have three pictures open. It may not look like there's three pictures open, but if you click on each of these tabs up here, you'll see the three pictures. The first one over here is of a soccer ball. This one is a soccer player, and this one is a television. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the selection brush tool and that's over here and when you click on it your conceptual toolbar shows in relation to the uh, to the tool in the conceptual toolbar make sure that the mode and that's over here is set to add you've got two modes here you've got an add mode where you add to your selection and then you've got a subtract mode when you subtract from it. If you don't understand that right now, that's fine. Uh, you'll understand it as we get going and we have to use this mode. And then if we don't have to use, use the mode this time, we'll do it later on. Then we've got the width. The width is of the brush. Now for this, we want our brush width to be about 50% to 75% of the soccer ball. So I'm going to make this 150 pixels, and then let's see. I'll keep it there. It doesn't matter. And you'll see why it doesn't matter in a minute. Okay, we need to have snap to edges checked. And the reason that we have to have snap to edges checked is because when you do a selection, it's going to snap to the edges of the soccer ball. Now that's going to depend on a few things. Uh, it snaps a little bit better when you have a lot of difference between your background and the object you're trying to select, but you'll see what I mean as we get going. Over here, this uh, snapping needs to be selected, and it is. Now, the first thing that we need to do is to click on the center of the ball. So when we click on the center of the ball, you'll see that we have a bunch of marching ants. Now, sometimes when you click on the center of an object like this, it will snap to all around to the edges of the object. But notice here it hasn't happened. It's just snapped to parts of the ball. So all you have to do is really click on it until we get everything snapping to the edge of the ball, like that. Okay, and there's a little bit right here and right here. and. Let me see, that looks okay. Let's make this a little bit smaller, or brush a little bit smaller, and zoom in a little bit, because notice we have this edge right here that has not been selected, and it is part of our ball. So we're going to go up to View and Zoom, and we're going to zoom in. We're going to zoom in more than that. Zoom in a little bit more. And now we can see that we have this part of the ball that hasn't been selected. So we'll very carefully just click this and see if we can do it. And if we can't, there's another thing we can try. Actually, that one looked too bad. Okay, so look around the ball and see if you have any kinks in the ball. There's one. Whoops. Okay, so let's undo that and make this a little bit smaller and see if we can get this kink out of our ball. Okay, and if not, there's something else we can try and that's called refine. So if we come up here and we press refine, that's going to give us this ball and it's going to give us the point where we can refine some of these edges that we don't like. Down here is that edge that was kind of weird, and we can see if we can we can fix it. So I'm going to set this smooth, and this pop-up, the refine selection pop-up, I'm going to select this smooth slider to be four pixels, and then I'm going to come down here and see if this works to where I can just select this, and make it make it disappear. Oh, we got rid of that bump. And then there's some other bumps over here that we can try and get rid of. Okay, 
So once we got this the way we want it, sometimes we wish for too much. Okay, and we check out our ball, then all we have to do is to hit apply because we're done. And you will get some marching ants around the ball. Let's zoom to fit so we can get our ball back. Okay, so now that we have this done, then we can click apply. As I said, we already did that. The dancing ants are back. Whoopsie, they shouldn't be here. If you have any dancing ants around here, you've got to get rid of these. Okay, good. We got rid of them. And this is what's hard about this ball right here. See how there's dancing ants around here too? So we've got to zoom in again. And we need to you zoom in some more. And we need to take a look at this. Right here, we shouldn't have ants dancing around here. We need to get rid of them. And good, we did. Make sure that your dancing ants are only surrounding the ball and they're not surrounding any of these little things. Okay, so now it looks like we're good to go. And we can zoom back out. View. I should have just said zoom to fit. That'll, that'll bring us back where we want to be. Okay, now, the next thing we need to do is to go to Select and Invert Pixel Selection. This will get us to where we can cut the ball away from the background. So now we've got dancing ants everywhere. We have them around the ball. We have them around the... Uh, background of the ball, and so on. And now we need to go, go and cut the ball away by going to Edit and Cut. And now what you have is just a ball with a transparent background. To get rid of the marching ants, because we don't need them anymore, all we have to do, we don't need Ray to do that, is just to select and de deselect, and now our marching ants are gone. Okay. So now what we're going to do is to copy the soccer ball because we're going to paste it over into another picture. So you're going to go to Edit and Copy. And then we're going to go over to the soccer player and then and then we're going to edit, whoops, edit and paste. And there's your ball. Okay, so now we've got a big giant ball covering up these two people, and we've got two layers. We've got a background layer here and a background layer here. One is the ball, and one are the people. Now, we've got to resize our ball and put it where we're supposed to put it. So, in order to do this, you can't move it from here with what you have selected. You're going to have to select the Move tool, because I think it's probably obvious that it's ca called a move tool for the reason because you for a reason because you move things with it. And so we're going to move our ball, resize it to where it's a decent size, and put it anywhere in the picture that you want to put it to where it looks like that they are going to go after the ball. So you can move it around until you get it to where you want, and that looks fine. So now we've got a ball that's in front of these guys' feet, and a background. Now what you're going to do is you're going to make these two things be one thing. So you have to highlight both of these layers, otherwise it's not going to work. So both of them have to be selected. And all I did on my uh, computer is I hit Control and hit the other one that wasn't selected. Then what you're going to do is your once these are highlighted, you're going to right click and then select group from the drop down. It's right here. I right clicked on my mouse and then I will select group and I group these together and now you've got 
these are all one thing for now. Now, one question you may have is, did both of these layers disappear? No, they didn't. Because if you hit this caret right here, click on it, you'll see that these other two pictures are just folded in. Now what we might want to do is give this a name. So we'll double click on it and we'll um, I'll just name it Soccer on TV because that's where we're going with this. Hey, I'll call it Soccer on TV, press enter, and now it's got its own little name. Now, we're going to um, finish this up by using another selection tool, and that's called the Pen Tool. So before we do that, we're going to click on our other image. Up here, notice this says Television. We're going to click on the Television image, and then we're going to click on a tool called the Pen Tool, and it's right here. So once you click the Pen Tool, what you're going to do is you're going to click on four corners of this TV. So we're going to click here, go down and click here. The object of this is to get as much of the interior cut out of this as we can. And there, and then we go up and click here as close as we can. And then we have four little anchor points or nodes, if you want to call them that. Now, if you are, if you kind of screwed it up and they aren't as straight as you would like, actually these look pretty straight, but if they, let's just pretend they weren't. Go over to the pen tool and click on the arrow. There's another tool in here called the node tool. So click on the node tool and that will enable you to adjust the nodes up and down to where you can get them the way you want them. If you know you're kind of a little unsatisfied with your the way things have gone here, okay, these really looked okay, but sometimes you can get to where they're really kind of crooked, and uh, if you try to do it with a pen tool, all you'll do is to create another node and then you'll have a big mess on your hands. okay, so once uh this is done. Go back and click the pen tool again, and then click Selection. That's this box up here. Once you click Selection, guess what you're going to get? There are those marching ants again. So you're going to get those. Now we need to get rid of this image. So all we have to do is go Edit Cut, and that will get rid of it. And we have a blank television screen with an an invisible layer. Okay, to get rid of your ants, you just select and deselect, and now you've got your TV with all that middle part out of it that you didn't want. Okay, now we're going to go back to the Soccer Players tab where we have everything here. We're going to copy the layer, so I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy up there and then I'm going to go back on the television and I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste it and it will be pasted up there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to have to readjust this because obviously this is a whole lot bigger than, than your, your TV. So remember to select the move tool because if you select any other tool, it's not going to do what you want. And we want to move this around and we want to resize it by using the nodes on the outside. Okay, so once we have it resized, you're not going to leave it like that. What you really want is you want the background to be on top, this TV to be on top, and you want these soccer players with the ball to be on the bottom. So we'll move it up here. And now the soccer players are in the back of the TV. So all you have to do is just to move it or resize it to where they're all in your TV screen. And so it's going to look like that. So now by using two selection tools, the pen tool and the paintbrush tool, 
you were able to take two soccer players, give them a soccer ball, and put them on TV. Now all you have to do is to sit back and just watch the game.